YouTube Ads Tutorial. Hey, it's John o. Armstrong here and I have nothing to sell you inside of this video. In this video, we're going to talk about creating an opt-in page or a squeeze page or a landing page, whatever you want to call it, a page that captures people's name and their email address. And we're going to talk about creating the correct type of page to use with YouTube ads. So let's dive into it. Now, there's a couple of options that you can use in the beginning to create your opt-in page. If you're just getting started, then what I recommend that you use is a page builder or a landing page builder, which is called leadpages.net or leadpages.com actually now. So you can actually get a free trial of this. And the reason why I recommend this is because the page speeds are pretty fast, right? That is really important for YouTube ads because if your page takes longer than a second and a half to load, people are just going to bounce off it and you're going to lose that lead, right? So it's really important that your page loads as fast as possible, okay? Later on this video, we're going to talk about exporting our page to raw HTML and I'm going to show you how to do that. But for now, let's just focus on lead pages. So if you go into lead pages, um, you can see I've got a ton of different landing pages in here, but to create a landing page, you're just going to sign up. Obviously you're going to click on landing pages and you're going to create new landing page. Now what I'll actually do is down below this video, I'll give you a link to a landing page that I've created. So you can just use that as your template and, and take it from there. Right? So, um, let me just have a quick, l uh, no, it's not that one. Um, let me find a good landing page to use. Right. This one has been used in the past. So let's check it out. You can see how fast that loaded. It was less than a second, right? Now on this landing page, let me just actually load this one up so I can show you how all of the stuff that you need to do. But basically on this landing page, it's very, very simple. You've got to keep it as simple as possible with YouTube ads. Simplicity wins. The number one function of this landing page is to load fast and to capture people's emails, obviously. But the number one function is to load fast and it can load fast. As long as you don't have any background images, you don't have anything fancy on here. All you need is, um, your headline, your sub headline and a couple of bullet points here. And then we've got our pop-up where people can enter in their name and email address. The other thing that you definitely need on this page is a bunch of disclaimers. So you've got an earnings disclaimer down here. You've got your privacy policy, you've got your terms of service, and you've got a contact um, link, right? Those are required to be able to run ads on YouTube. You need to have those on your landing pages, right? So how do we build this page in uh, lead pages? Well, it's pretty simple. I'm going to give you this template. And all you need to do is tweak the sub headline, tweak the main, the main headline and tweak all of this text on here and swap this out for an image of yourself, right? Or whoever's going to be doing the training on your VSL. It doesn't have to be a GIF image like this one. Uh, I just find that this GIF image attracts quite a lot of attention because it's got flashy cars and stuff like that. And it's also a clickable GIF image. So when people click on here, it's also going to load up the, um, the pop up, right? So what do we need to do on this page once we have it done? Well, first of all, you need to think about the headline, right? This headline is how 95, how this 95% done for you system is making me 1,248 per day on complete autopilot. Now this is a make money online product It's a biz op offer that I was, that I'm running. And the reason why I say me is because that makes it compliant, right? Nobody can question your own results, right? You cannot say you, right? How this done for you system is making you will make you cause that's kind of a promise, right? YouTube doesn't like that. So you need to make it all about you, right? You need to make it me, right? <laughs> and that's a bit confusing. You need to make it all about me and my results, right? Cause then you're not promising anything to other people. Well, you kind of are, but you, you're doing it in a, a compliant way, right? So what you want to do in this headline, and this is probably the most important thing on this whole page, a, it needs to be congruent with the messaging in your ads, right? Everything in your funnel needs to be congruent, right? And all of the I's and T's need to be dotted and crossed, right? 
You need to make sure that your messaging in your ads lines up with your headline on your landing page, lines up with your headline on your VSL page or your webinar page, lines up with the messaging inside of your webinar as well, lines up with the messaging inside of all your emails. You need to make sure that that, that is really important. If there's any kind of disconnect, then it's going to throw people off, right? So headline is really important. Also, inside the headline, you want to keep it as short and to the point as possible that kind of promises the thing that, that the thing that your target audience wants without the things that they hate, right? So for example, if, it, if you're doing like a, a weight loss offer, how I lost 10 kilograms in eight days or eight and a half days without going to the gym, right? So you've got the result that they want without the things that they hate, right? Nobody wants to go to the gym. Nobody wants to diet. Nobody wants to do any kind of hard stuff, right? But they still want the result, right? So that is what you need to put in your headline, okay? And obviously, your product needs to go in and teach that stuff, right? How to lose that 10, 10 kilograms in, in eight and a half days without actually going to the gym, right? You might be doing a few exercises or some, some stuff at home, but you're not actually going to the gym, right? That's how you get around it. And then you want to have uh, your sub headline is, well, here we've got on how regular people are duplicating my results in under 15 minutes. So you want to have some kind of time limit on here, right? And also down here in the sub headline, you want to uh, have some more, have some more, um, what are they called? You want to have some more, benefits, right? You want, always want to be talking about the benefits. You don't want to be talking about the process. You don't want to be talking about the um, intricacies of how your product works. No, you want to be focusing on the end goal, the benefit for that user, right? So you have some more benefits down here. And then you have a timestamp on here for 2024. So people can see, okay, this is current, right? Apart from that, um, you can click to edit the pop-up right? And then you can integrate this by clicking on edit integrations. And you can integrate this with whatever autoresponder that you are using. So for this particular campaign, I'm using active campaign, and it will send it through to the exact list that you've created inside of active campaign, right? And then you can choose the fields that you want. I just usually go with first name and email address. And then the actions what happens after that person have submitted their name and email address, I send them onto my webinar on my VSL, and that is the link that you need to put down here. Okay, now on top of that, you also need to go into the settings, and here is where you're going to put all of your tracking codes. Now we'll talk about tracking codes later on, but this is just a quick heads up that you need to add them in this section here, right? And also, if you get out of this pop up uh, section here, you go back to settings, you need to add them in here under analytics, you need to put your Google uh, tracking pixels, your high ROS tracking pixels inside of here as well. Right? There's two places that you need to put them, you need to put them in the pop up, you need to put them inside the actual page itself as well. Right? Once you've done that, you can click on update, you can click on publish, and your landing page will be ready. You also need to make sure that when you load it up, it is mobile optimized. So when people visit this on the mobile, which is like 80% of the traffic, they're actually going to see this loading page like this, this, this image isn't going to be gigantic. This headline isn't going to be too big, everything loads up correctly, right? The other thing that you can do inside of here is you can go ahead and you can use click funnels, right? Click funnels is I'm pretty sure you've heard about ClickFunnels. It's a, it's a page builder. You can build your membership areas. You can build your pages. You can build everything. I use ClickFunnels. But, but, right, when it comes to ClickFunnels, <sighs> their pages, they have a lot of downtime, right? They have a lot of issues with load speed. They have a lot of issues with downtime. Like, ClickFunnels is down a lot, right? So, yes, by all means, you can create your... You can create your landing pages in ClickFunnels like I've done right here, okay? But ultimately, once you've created it, you want to rip these pages to raw HTML. And I'll show you how to do that in a second. But 
I've created this opt-in page here inside of ClickFunnels. I will give you a share link to the ClickFunnels in, um, so that you can go and edit this. If you already have ClickFunnels, then you can go and use the, the share link down below and you can start editing this inside of ClickFunnels. So what I've done here, obviously I've got the headline, I've got the subheadline, I've got all of the benefits down here. This will go ahead and open up the pop-up, which you can access by uh, editing the pop-up here. Okay, remember that you would need to go into the settings, into your integrations, and this is where you're going to integrate your autoresponder, right? That's really important, right? And also inside the general settings, on submit, you need to put in the page for your VSL or your webinar inside of there so it makes sure that it, they get redirected to the right place. In here where it says custom JavaScript, this is where I've got my GIF, right? So it's going to open up the pop-up and then this is the link. I use a, a software called Giphy to create my GIFs and you can put in your GIF script there. If you don't want to use a GIF, you can just delete this and you can add in an image instead. That's perfectly fine. And then once you're done with this, what you'll need to do is go over to Upwork, right? I don't know if you've heard about Upwork, you probably have done. But basically on here, you can go and find somebody that can rip your ClickFunnels page to HTML. So how do you get your ClickFunnels page? Pretty simple. Once you're done with everything, you just click on Save. Um, and then you would give them this page right here, right? You'd give them this page. And you'd say to them, go and rip this to HTML, right? And they'll give you an HTML file. And what you would need to do is go and set up a hosting and a domain name on somewhere like GoDaddy. I use GoDaddy. You can use whatever you want. And go and add those files into uh, the hosting that you've bought, right? And the end result is going to be a page like this, where if I just refresh it, you can see it loads instantly. Right, because this is a raw HTML page. This is what you want for YouTube ads. You need this page to load ASAP. As soon as somebody clicks on your ad, you want this page to load. You're not gonna get this kind of speed with ClickFunnels. You're probably not gonna get this kind of speed with lead pages, although lead pages actually loads a lot faster than ClickFunnels, but the ultimate page that you want is just raw HTML. You can find somebody on Upwork to do that for you, okay? Right, the other thing that you need to do once you have your landing page done and optimized is you need to start split testing, right? Split testing is essential because split testing can be the difference between you getting a lead for $5 a lead and you getting a lead for $1.50 per lead. It all comes down to split testing. So what are the things that you need to split test? Well, you need to split test the headline. So what I recommend that you do, because unfortunately, when, when I was split testing, I used a... I used a, um, a service that was called Google Optimize. It was owned by Google, and therefore they let you use it on your pages. And it was great, and they've since actually shut it down. They're actually developing a different uh, split testing optimization software, but it's not out yet. So for the moment, we're going to have to do this manually. Um, I wouldn't recommend using any other split testing softwares because... They're not backed by Google, and they can actually suspend your Google AdWords account for something which is called circumventing, or they're gonna think what you're doing is actually cloaking, which is banned. You can't do cloaking, right? So the only way around this is by doing it manually. So when it comes to setting up this landing page on your ads, what you're going to do is after a few days, you're gonna slightly change the headline. So you're gonna focus on these things one by one. First of all, we're gonna start with the headline. So what I suggest you do is you have 10 different variations of this headline, right? And then 10 different, different variations of this subheadline, and then 10 different variations of these bullet points down here. And then you're gonna do 10 variations of this image. And then you're gonna do 10 variations of the button color. I found that red or green works the best for me, but it's not about what I think, it's about what the market thinks. And you can only find out that data through running ads and split testing your pages. I know it's a pain in the ass. I know that you're going to have to spend even more money on gathering this data. But ultimately, it is for the best. And if you, if you skip this step, you're not going to make as much money ultimately. Because the whole point of split testing 
is to get the best possible variation of your page that's gonna get you the lowest cost per lead, right? When you have the lowest cost per lead, everything works better. You make even more money, right? Because it all starts here. When you have the lowest cost per lead, like if you have a budget of say $1,000 a day, right? And if you're not split testing, if you're not doing any of this, you're not optimizing, you might be getting leads for say 10 to $10 to $15 per lead. So from that $1,000 budget, you may only be getting, you know, 100 leads or even 700, uh, sorry, 75 leads. I think my math is correct there. And that's going to be a shame because that's only 75 people or 100 people that are going to go on to see your webinar. And obviously, a lot of people are going to drop off and only a, maybe like 1% to 2% of those people are actually going to buy. So out of 100 people, only two people might buy, right? And if you spent $1,000 a day and you only get one sale and your sale cost is $997, you're only breaking even, right? Whereas if you can optimize your landing page and your other sales material, which we'll talk about later on, but if you can optimize that to get leads for $1.50, right? Now, instead of getting 100 leads, you're now getting 750 leads, right? And if 1% of those people buy, right, that's, okay, excuse my maths, it's, it is utter shit, right? I failed maths at school, but I guess it's gonna be around seven, seven people buying instead of just one people, one person, right? That's a big difference. That's a big difference. You could be making 7,000 from your $1,000 ad spend instead of just breaking even. And that all comes down to the optimization that you do on your landing page. It comes down to the optimization that you do on your ads, which we'll talk about later on. It comes down to the optimization that you do inside of your VSL or your webinar, or whatever. But it's all about getting as many people to buy from the same amount of budget per day. And you can do that through optimization. So please do not skip the split testing stage. It is essential, right? Okay, that is it for this video. This video is number five of my 12 part YouTube ad series, right? So if you want the other 12 videos, there is actually a link down below in the description and it's completely free. You don't have to pay anything for this, right? There's no strings attached. Yes, I do have some premium coaching programs and stuff, but they're not essential. I'm, my plan is to give away the entire farm inside of these 12 videos. So if you want the rest of these 12 videos, click on the link down below. Now in the next video, we're gonna be talking about how to create a good webinar or a good VSL or a good call funnel. It's gonna be a long one, but stick with me, okay? I'll see you in that next video, take care.